Algebra 1, Unit 10 Review. Number 1 asks us to identify the key features from the exponential function f of x equals 1 half times 2 to the x power. So this is a formula that you have to have memorized. You need to remember that a is your y-intercept and b is your base. So on here when it says identify the a, b, y-intercept, and base, I need you to know that those are going to the A and the Y intercept will be the same and your B and your base will be the same. So here the one half is in the A place. So I'd put one half here and one half here. Your B is the two. So two would go for the B and the base. Remember your base is also what it multiplies by. These th three things for y'all's purpose for algebra one, these are not going to change. You need to remember that this is a horizontal asymptote where y equals 0. Your domain is all real numbers. Now remember we use this symbol to mean all real numbers. And then the last thing is the range. Well, range you guys know is y. And I told y'all that it's going to be greater than zero. So these three things will not change for y'all's purpose. So number two says that John throws a basketball in the air. Its path can be modeled by the equation y equals negative x squared plus 3x plus 5, where x is the time in seconds and y is the height of the ball and feet. What is the initial height of the ball? We did an activity uh, on these kind of questions and if y'all will, rem will remember I told you all that the C is the initial height here. Your C is your y-intercept. So that would be your initial height. Now if you put this in the calculator you'll also be able to see on this one because your C is is small enough to actually see on the calculator but I need y'all to remember your initial amount is whatever that C value is so if you look here that's touching the y-axis at 5 this is 5 so I need y'all to know that's your initial amount okay what's the maximum height of the ball This is where I told y'all to press trace and you can kind of see where the number is the highest. Roughly it's um, 7.25 so that's the maximum height. How long did it take for the ball to reach its maximum height? Well it told us up here that X was time in seconds. So X in this in this case is about five I'm um, sorry, one point five seconds. And how long does it take to hit the ground? Well in order to hit the ground it has to basically hit um, the zero, the X intercept, and the solution. All those are the same thing for the x axis. So right here it's roughly four seconds. So we're going to say about four seconds.